Hi, Adam Lewis here with Sound Barrier and SoundBarrierHunting.com. This week I'm going to share with you the new science about the white-tailed deer's weak link or Achilles heel that's long been sought after, what the science shows, and what that means for your hunting. So stay tuned. So what is the weak link or the Achilles heel of white-tailed deer? And how can hunters take advantage of that? Well, I recently did a lot of research on this and found something very, very interesting. Uh, and I recently published this in an article in North American Whitetail. It's how deer use their senses together. And they use three senses typically uh, they rely on to keep us from success. Sight, uh, smell, and their hearing. Uh, what these studies show about deer is really fascinating. First, it shows, and my experience shows this as well, that two of these senses in particular really rely on each other. One of them is a, a trigger sense, I call it, and another is a confirmation sense. The trigger sense is actually hearing, and that's the important one. Noises we make or predators make in the woods trigger a deer to know where to look. The equation goes something like this. Trigger sense, hearing, they hear something, and then they rely on their confirmation sense, sight, to further scrutinize it, and then we're busted. If you look at that equation, the amazing thing for hunters is this. If we can remove that trigger sense, the confirmation sense doesn't really matter that much. I experienced this a few years ago when I was hunting. I uh, pushed into a bedding area, real close to a bedding area, for one last hunt on this uh, particular hunt I was on. It was kind of windy, a little bit rainy, and I pushed in there, and so I did it very, very quietly. Climbed up my tree, I had a climber, I climbed up the tree, I was in full view of the whole hillside when I did this, and as I climbed up the tree, I got up there and I was setting up my stuff, and I looked down, and only about 35 yards away, there are two does sitting there, facing my direction. They're, they're bedded, and they're just chewing their cud and they could see me the whole time. There was really not much in between myself and them. And they saw me the whole time, and I couldn't really believe what I was seeing and how they were still there, how they didn't alert to my presence. And then it hit me that they had no trigger sense. They could not hear me at all. So their eyes, the you know confirmation sense, didn't know to kick in, and they didn't really know what they were seeing uh, at all and they weren't alerted. So the takeaway for today and the challenge really is what are you doing to get past that trigger sense or not trip that trigger sense? We need to put a lot more focus on that and deer's hearing and how we can get past it than really worrying about our camouflage and their eyesight. We have a lot of resources here for you on that. Check out our other videos. We're all about getting past the deer's last great defense of hearing with science and tips to do that. So check those out. I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Until next time, get out there and never be heard again.